One of the, the more common species of uh, tropical tortoises that we see um, here in the U.S. in the pet trade would be the red-footed tortoise. And, and this is an example of one right here. These tortoises are native to South America. They prefer a very warm and humid environment. Um, they're found in the Amazon River Basin. Um, so setting up one of these guys is going to be very different from setting up uh, a tortoise from, or a turtle from a, an arid or dry climate. Um, they prefer an enclosure with a humidity um, that's upwards of 80%. Uh, and that can be tricky to do, especially here in North America. It often requires frequent misting of the tank. Um, they even have mechanical misters, uh, sometimes putting large bowls of water. Uh, in the tank helps to keep the humidity up and there are special sorts of substrates or bedding materials that you can use to sort of maintain the humidity uh, in the tank in including uh, planting of live plants. The diet of these guys is a little different too. They um, tend to eat a lot more fruit um, than the, the turtles coming from the drier climates. Um, so again their diet is going to be leafy green vegetables um, and fruits um, as well as some of the commercial foods that are out there today. They still do require uh, a basking area. Um, that's an area where they can heat themselves up. Uh, keeping in mind, again, reptiles are ectotherms. They rely on the temperature of the environment to regulate their own body temperature. Uh, so it's very important uh, that they have a, a warm basking area uh, within their setup or their enclosure. Um, and you want that temperature, temperature to be upwards of 90 degrees, 90, 95. Um, these the temperature requirements for these turtles uh, at night um, is, is it, you still want to maintain that around you know, 80, uh, 85 degrees. The other thing that these turtles or tortoises need would be uh, a, a source of ultraviolet light. Um, again, if you're housing them indoors, this is going to be a special bulb. It's generally called, generally called a UVB bulb. Um, it comes in various forms. <clears throat> the other thing, of course, would be a good clean water source. So those are some of the things to consider when you're purchasing and setting up an enclosure for a tropical turtle.